Ooh, fancy robes. You fancy yourself some kind of wizard? <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, here we are, shipwrecked, stranded on an island. Who would have thought? All this trying to help this... this person who's claiming to be my sister. Anyhow, our next step is to go to this northern village to see if we can't get parts to fix our ship. over there. I'm completely unfamiliar with this terrain. Seems like I've lost my companions. You know, I'm getting tired of this rain. if my powers are really what they should be. No. Well, that was disappointing. the clear sky shout. Oh, here we are. And it looks like they want to attack us. all about. Wait, who's fighting now? It's over.
Well, they never stood a chance. Hmm, seashells. This is the currency that they use here. We may need it. of strength. I don't know this enchantment, but I think on the ship, though, there is a uh, enchanter. I'm not sure if I will find such a thing on this island. Continue on. Another chest. Armor rating increased by 20%. Yeah, that's very nice. Something out here. Those bears. A panda. You're friendly. Interesting. Now what's going on? Oh. All quiet. And where is my so-called sister? Let's continue. Shame. Uh, I was hoping they'd make it too. Why? What's this? The What's happened? Happen. It's their fault for succumbing to hope. What's happened here? What do you want? I want to know what happened. The damned fools thought Dagon's curse was a myth. Their bodies just washed ashore. Dagon's curse? The barrier that keeps us trapped on this isle. Hundreds have attempted to break it. They end up like this lot every time. Hmm. Is this a bad time to ask if you know of a way off the island? Ha! <laughs> Do you not see what happened to these miserable sorts? Nobody escapes this place. Look. Do you know of a way or not? No, but you might ask Tassius, our priest of Arche. It's rumored he has a theory on how to avert the curse. Where is he? He's busy preparing the rites for these fools. He'll be in his hut when he finishes. You could wait for him there. So if there's some sort of barrier yeah. erected by a Daedric Prince, then I could possibly be trapped here too.
right, let's see if we can't find the village in all this darkness. Why, hello. Hello. What, what, what's happening? Oh. I see you. There is no respite from the hand of destiny. Something wrong? You spaced out for a few minutes. There's commotion outside. We should investigate. Don't kill me. I might die from that. There goes the neighborhood. Please don't kill me. I might die from that. Our losses may have been double without it. Ooh, fancy robes. You fancy yourself some kind of wizard? <laughs> and are you a priest of Arche? I'm the closest my people have to a man of any religious authority, but I care little for that title. I consider myself more of a layman than a priest. And I... That was an Oblivion Gate, wasn't it? Aye, like the tales of old. A portal between Mundus and the Plains of Oblivion, crafted by the dangerous Lord Mayrun's Dagon himself. I thought all the gates were closed when the Oblivion Crisis ended. They had, for the rest of Nern. But the Crisis still thrives here. Exercising its malice and cruelty long after its author's expulsion. How is that possible? Everyone has their theories. Some say a member of the Mythic Dawn sold the island to Dagon for a high status in paradise. Others claim that Martin Septum never banished the Daedric Lord to oblivion, but to this peninsula instead. There are other, more absurd speculations, of course, but... Ultimately, none of these hypotheses have enough evidence to support them. No one knows for certain where the gates returned. 
Are there patterns to the gates opening? They used to only appear every few years, but now things are escalating. And those of us who've been around for a while know this can only mean one thing. The reaping will soon dawn. The reaping? An event that occurs every thirty years or so, when Dagon sends his minions to decimate the souls of three quarters of the island's population. Admittedly, my knowledge of the event is limited. There are others here that could tell you more. The Daedra just kill people and leave? Yes, but only a fraction of us. It's as if they're only interested in trimming the populace. It's a very peculiar behavior for the dangerous lord of destruction to have. My tribe and I are still uncertain of the meaning. Are there patterns to who they spare? For a time, we thought the reaping would pass over Dagon's supporters, but that hypothesis was quickly debunked. It seems as if they kill anything in that path until the quota is met. Now, these are but my own speculations, of course. I'm no authority on the event. I was told that you have a theory on how to break Dagon's curse. I'm afraid there's no theory. Just a small gamble at hope. Only one person has ever made it off the island. A young child who piloted a rowboat past sea monster, raging storm, and troubled waters, eventually reaching a clearing beyond the curse. Well, or so the story goes. You don't believe it? Her boat didn't wash ashore like the others. Uh, that's the only evidence we have of her success. And don't get me wrong, I hope she made it. I've just been around long enough to know the odds. What made her escape different from the rest? She did something the rest of us couldn't. She asked for the help of the Warden. Hmm, the Warden? Aye, the Warden of our coast. He's a being of local mythology. Tales claim he resides within the very heart of Mount Andor, granting an audience to only those he deems worthy. It's said the girl struck a deal with this Warden, allowing her safe passage beyond the curse. Hmm. Local mythology, you say? Does this warden even exist? I've sent many newcomers to his abode. None of them will grant an audience. It is entirely likely that the wardens either passed away or never existed at all. Few know for certain. Can you take us to him? Of course. As a member of the Norstead village, I am obligated to provide such hospitality to newcomers. Just be warned, the Warden, should he exist, may not barter with us if we arrive in numbers. You'll need to send one member of your party away for this. All right then. This Bryn person that I don't really know. I'll mark the spot on your map. Let us loot these Daedra corpses. Bryn, I'll see you back at the ship. Oh, what? Oh, it was a Daedra. But for a moment, it was the, uh, cursed rune. Hmm. It must be sparing in the things that I pick up. I don't know if I'll be able to sell them off here. I suppose there's no inn in this town that we could get some rest, is there? It's quite dark outside. Ah, here. Everyone. 
find a place to sleep. Hmm, an ominous nightmare. In my dream, I find myself in a dark forest lit by the light of the blood moon. In the distance, I can hear the howling of wolves and the faint screams of men. A horned figure beckons me from a rocky outcropping, a pack of wolves at his feet. I recognize him as Hercene, father of man-beasts. In his hand is a chalice filled with a crimson liquid. Oh no, Hercene, you tricked me once in the other realm. Not this time. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Is there something I can do for you? I don't think so. What do you want? All right, let's go to the cave. Or wherever it is and speak to this warden. Ah, oh, this island is not so bad after all. When it's not raining. Beautiful crystal blue water. Is this the right way? Apparently Here it we is. are. Let's hope this isn't a dead end. Uh, perhaps there is an entrance riddle of some kind. If the legends hold true, he knows we're here. Whether or not he grants us entry remains to be seen. <laughs> we have our answer. All right, let's go. I must say, these lava flows are quite impressive. Hold on, we have some stragglers. from my dreams. Dreams? Surely you've had them as well. The visions, the signs of what has passed, and what will pass again. What can you tell me about these dreams? So it's true. The Dragonborn of Legend is one of my time. I have waited decades for your arrival. These visions, they are part of the merging process. Merging process? The island has chosen you as her champion. Your fate it now? is melding with hers as one through the sacred binds of prophecy. These visions are a result of the unification. To put it in simpler terms, you were destined to come here. Hmm. 
Well, it would appear that I'm only here because my ship crashed. But you wouldn't know any more about that, would you? If destiny can grant the Thum, surely it can maroon a vessel. And how do you presume to know so much about me? And yet know so little? <laughs> we see the same dreams, Nova King. Just not from the same perspective. I was told you've helped others escape this island. I've set a few individuals down that road, yes. Only one ever made it to the other side. Even then, the cost was substantial. And what did it cost? When you cheat destiny, it will exact its vengeance. Relentlessly and without mercy. You would pay a heavy price if following in her footsteps. But why concern yourself with escape at all? Your future is here. Destiny has made its demand. I don't care what destiny wants. <sighs> I know that look. You're set in your ways. No spoken word can dissuade you. Even so, I cannot grant passage beyond the curse to anyone who simply asks for it. Well, I'm Help not just the people anyone. of my island. De-escalate the hatred they harbor for one another and lead them to make amends. Do this, and I will show you the way home. All right, as long as it gets me home. Then be off, and do not return until you have aided my people. Very well. All right, we have our work cut out for us. We need to aid the inhabitants of this island.